Last year, I moved from Europe to the US in order to study filmmaking, from my little town by the Mediterranean Sea to New York. Since I've always wanted to simultaneously be everywhere and nowhere, each time I move to a new city, I have to look for the most characteristic cafes, those places where one can be alone, but surrounded at the same time. I already talked about these topics in a documentary I shot on the coffee shops in New York, from where I took the images you have just been seeing. But in the following year, I moved to LA, where I am living now. And I also wanted to discover what this city had to offer me through its coffee houses. So I decided, once again, to do a documentary about them, even though I knew I would probably end up repeating myself. This is new for me. I'm kind of smiling, but I should be, I should be upset with having a, a drive through coffee shop. Can I have a one uh, grande iced mocha? I'm sorry, say that one more time? Uh, one grande iced mocha? And then, can I have one cinnamon shredo? Cinnamon shredo? No, 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 a banana walnut bread. All right, a banana walnut look, okay. Yeah, it was, it was weird talking to, to a machine. That's something that, uh, it's like, because in the coffee shop, normally the, 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 the workers, like the people who serve coffee or the people who, who are in the counter, they are usually charming people. Like you can ask them like for housing, for example, or recommendations, places to go. I don't think I would have asked like this machine for anything else than coffee. This place is probably the opposite of what I like about coffee shops. Hello. Yeah, how are you doing? Ice mocha and ice coffee milk and the banana? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's the, there's the ice cream. Okay, yeah. And this is the ice cream and milk. Thank you very much. Of course, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we are parking in a parking slot which says less than 50 minutes. So you can only have a coffee for 15 minutes. As we have just seen, my first contact with the coffee shops in LA wasn't idyllic. But I didn't give up so easily, and was determined to go and find some places where my European sensitivity would feel more at home. I was saying before that LA would be a great city if you didn't have to drive so much. Aside from the nice terraces that allow people to enjoy the wonderful weather, I realized that the coffee houses in Southern California were pretty similar to the ones in New York. Or maybe it's just that I've been thinking so much about these places that I couldn't really see anything new in them. Yes, people in LA write the scripts in the cafes. So what? The ambience is almost the same as in New York. Maybe a little bit more laid back, but it's not so different. What really happened while I was checking out coffee houses is that I got stressed and fed up of so much driving around and parking, and paying. Man, I'm so fucking tired of driving. I think we're just gonna, we're gonna stop in the next coffee shop and we're gonna stay there like for the rest of the day. Sometimes I like to come to coffee shops and just just draw and watch people and, and write. Huh? Well, sometimes it's awkward to want to be alone but with people, you know? It's a strange balance. You're not really sitting around with your friends, you're sitting around with strangers. What do I like about cafes? I like the coffee. I'm a black eye person. The Tribal Cafe is one that stayed here um, long enough to be noticed. This is one of the spots that I, I love to come to just because there's always something interesting happening here.
I always understood the cafes as places of freedom. Spaces where one can do whatever he wants, stay as long as he wants, and travel through his imagination with the help of caffeine. When I arrived to LA, I instinctively saw myself moved to find my niche in the cafe houses, but rapidly realized that one of the things I didn't know I liked the most about these places is their workability. That is, the possibility of getting there on foot. But whether I have to go to the cafes walking, cycling, driving or with a kick scooter, I must admit that I am still addicted to them, as I am to caffeine. Because they are neutral spaces where everything can change, where any perspective can be opened and where the city can experiment within itself. They are the perfect new beginning.